is I'm all for sharing with people. I'm not a super sociable guy. I'm very um I don't I wouldn't even consider myself an introvert. Sometimes people always uh, would consider someone like me an introvert. Okay, you know, I'm going to have to really think about that before I before I tackle him. I'm going to tackle him, but I'm not tackling him yet. Let me clear the area. Uh, I really, because the definition of an introvert doesn't really, it kind of describes me a little bit like I don't, I'm not much of a traveler and stuff, but I do like going out and doing stuff sometimes. I like, I do like experiencing new things and trying new stuff and uh, mixing things up to see what works best. But uh, the introvert just doesn't really describe me. What I am is reclusive. I'm not uh, a super sociable person. I don't like small talk at all. I keep a small group of friends, and YouTube is actually kind of the the one thing that I mean. You can be an introvert, I, and I kind of am. I I would consider myself not not introvert, but a reclusive YouTuber, just in the sense that I make videos and I talk about things like this, and make videos where I talk, and I'm presumably almost talking to someone, even though I personally treat these kind of like 20% like I'm talking to someone for anyone who feels like listening, and more like 80% more like a. Uh, a way to air out my thoughts and almost like a personal vlog series that I then post where anyone could see it I guess which sounds kinda strange I guess I because some people are very sociable and they wouldn't understand that and I I totally get that because it seems like a very odd thing to do but it it works for me and I like engaging with people who would watch these videos or other videos but I don't know oh, I forgot the crystal lizard was there but I don't uh, I'm not gonna be able to kill him I should have equipped a firebomb crap I needed him. Shit, shit, shit. 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 He's gonna get away. I don't remember how quick they go away. No, 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 no. No, no. Don't. Nope. Okay, wait. I can do this. I can do this. I can very. No. No! Nope. I can do this. <laughs> this is like the worst crystal lizard fight okay, ever. I got it. Okay. I don't look like an idiot because I got it. That's, that's how it is. I, if I get it, I don't look stupid. <laughs> no, no matter how sloppy it was, as long as I didn't die or I got what I tried to get, I it, it makes up for it completely. I have no Estus, and I don't really want to fight the Taurus Demon with no Estus. I'm going to die to this Black Knight. This Black Knight's going to kill me. Uh, but I do, I do, what I'm saying is I like engaging with people uh, to a certain extent. Like, I'm not, again, not, I'm, I think I'm reasonably friendly. I don't think I'm, like, a complete asshole, but I'm not super... Super, super sociable. Super, super want to get to talk it up all the time. But some of the some of the talk, the comments and stuff, that can be uh, really good, enjoyable. Especially when it's just someone like maybe just sharing like, oh yeah, I love that game too. Or man, that game fucking sucks. I hate you. Even that is just it warms my heart to let pe to for people to know. Just just general stuff like that. Okay, can we? What is the best course of action? I wanna. I guess I should use the black fire bombs on him, right? But they're they're strong against fire. Do I buff my weapon to try and take this guy down? I'm just kind of planning out everything in my head. How far I might need to go back. I know I can get on top of the roof and. All right, let's see if I can. Let's see if I can get a good backstab in. Let's see if I can very carefully, clanky chainmail, walk up to him. To hand my weapon because I think that makes a difference and get a nice clean backstab, backstab, backstab. I didn't get it. Okay, that's doing more damage than I thought, though. Oh! Not bad. Not that too bad. Okay, I, I never get the uh, the second parry. When they get back up, I can never hit that parry, so I wasn't even going to attempt it. Oh, God. We're in panic mode now. Damn it, there goes my buff. Do I use a humanity to fight this guy? Oh, my God. This is, <laughs> is going to be the... The worst Black Knight fight you've ever seen. Is he coming? Alright. Alright, where's he going? Where's he... Where'd he go? I've never had him do that before. What's happening? I don't want to lose my buff. Buff. Oh! I should really just keep like a parry counter and a death counter. Alright. Alright. If it actually be awesome if he dropped his shield. I would love his shield. Don't feel bad because look how much health. Well, actually, I've actually done more health damage than I thought I would have to him. Black Fire Bomb? Oh, that did ooh, more than I thought. And I'm doing more damage than I thought. Oh, I can't parry that. Well. Yikes. 
Ooh, that tracked terribly. Oh my god. Retreat. Retreat. Do I use another human? I'm gonna use another humanity. I'm gonna use up all my humanity. I don't necessarily plan to grind humanity, but if I need a bit, I'm gonna grab a bit. Oh yeah. Okay, come on. I got this. Ooh, I, I tried to go for the risky parry. That was not smart. It's just like at this point, I just don't want to die. <laughs> I've already got him like more than halfway down. Climb the ladder. It'd be terrifying if they could climb ladders. Oh, that's not good. He can hit me. He can hit me. He can hit me. Oh, no. What am I doing? Where are you going? Okay, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Okay. Now. This fucking Black Knight. Alright, I've got enough. I'm going to drop the humanity because I don't want that on my inventory. I'm going to drop these because I want these. I should be good with everything I've got. And I'm going to buff my weapon and I'm going to get this backstab. I really have a lot of trouble sneaking up on this guy. I don't know why. I'm just going to tip my, top myself off. I really shouldn't be doing that, but I'm just not going to die to this guy. And I would kind of worry about it getting boring with me just peering him over and over, but don't worry, I will lose my cool sooner or later. Like that. All I had to do was talk about it. Okay. This is, I love how this is like one of the most challenging things in the game, killing this Black Knight early. It's just, it's just a lot of fun. I love stuff like that. And I think it would have been really cool if they had implemented the Black Knights the way they had talked about. Not like they had promised the Black Knights to be a certain way, but they had talked about... They wanted the Black Knights to be like a, a roaming randomization. Like they'd always be somewhere different wandering around. That would have been awesome. I wish they had implemented that. I don't know if they implemented something like that in Dark Souls 2. But it's... Uh, uh, 3, I mean. And I don't want to know until I play it. I've avoided... I've actually... And I will kill anybody who spoils it for me. Uh, but I've avoided all uh, spoilers of Dark Souls 3 so far, so I'm pretty happy about that. So you just gotta give him the old walk-around technique where I just, like, I confuse him. I spin him around. Okay, now we're in a dangerous spot. I could fall off there. I'm gonna toss this at him. Yeah, not, not much, but I'll take it. It's better than... Oh! Oh, God, no! Alright. I feel like a throwing knife is too slow to throw at this guy and not worth the damage. Ooh, that was close. I'm gonna top off, just because just I'm just not messing around. I'm just not messing around. Okay, there we go. Why I couldn't roll through his attack before is beyond me, but you know. And I, I like the Black Knights. They're a very solid challenge. Even to more experienced players. Not that I, I don't know if I qualify myself as experienced, but I'm certainly not... Uh, I think I'm decent at this game. I'm not, like, amazing or anything, but I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay, right? I don't know if I'm good at any game anymore. That was actually one of the concerns I was starting to have after this whole year of everything crazy that's been going on, all the stuff I've been doing, uh, and the fact that video games are just kind of becoming more and more to the wayside for me. Like, there were so many days and weeks and almost months where I just wasn't playing any games at all. I was actually at the point where I was like, I don't know if I can call myself a gamer anymore. And I was legitimately getting a little worried that, uh, like, art, uh, and I say R. Which, which is a uh, people who were born. I was born in '92, and I am classified in the uh, generation of millennials. But that's uh, I don't have an issue with like a lot of people like have an issue with the even just the name or the generalization of the generation. But because of the bloom in technology and a lot of other things that technology has helped aid, um, this this generation is just a very very divided generation in. The, the oldest part of Millennials and the youngest part of Millennials are very, very different. Um, and what I'm getting at here, while I'm trying to just not die to this Black Knight, is back in the day, like video games have been around for a little while now. They didn't just come out of nowhere, but they've, just, they've been growing and getting better and better and better and becoming more than just a little thing that kids kind of play from time to time or maybe some adults play that. Like, this is a lot, like, a lot of people, like, this is their thing. This is as important to them as many, many other things are to many other people, like sports or cars or, uh, you know, plenty of other things. And um, because of that, and this is, like, the millennials are the first generation that are growing older, and back in the day, or even, just, just, just the way it's not a lot of people look at it, video games for kids, and you grow out of it. But I don't think that's the case anymore. I think it's very much not like that anymore. 
uh, especially with my generation coming up now that there are so many older people and I use the term older just saying people who are older than me um, which again I'm 24 right now so older than me that are playing games on a consistent regular basis it's what they love to do they oh god like doing it and uh, there's nothing wrong with that at all it's the, the point I'm making is it's the first time in history where it's like it's it's not going away you don't get older and just stop playing games because those are for kids they're not just for kids. Um, I don't know that they ever really were. Some some obviously were, but I don't know that they really are uh, were. And I don't know that they. I certainly don't think they are anymore. Just for kids. I think it's for everybody and all ages. It's all ages, all genders, all race. It doesn't. It's for whoever you are, whoever the gamer that you are. And I was just honestly getting concerned that man. I I don't know that I can call myself a gamer anymore. I don't really play games. I'm not up to date on playing games. I. You know, and there's nothing wrong with replaying old games. I still think that makes me a gamer. I still think I, I am, more or less, but I'm just a lot less than I was um, pre previously. Now, this guy's almost dead, and I've been doing a pretty good job doing the looky loo with him, but I really want him to die, and I really don't want to lose. So, I'm just, that's kind of why, again, I wanted to, like, I just really want to start playing something that I could keep up with. Where is he going? I've never had him do this. What is he doing? I'm, I'm nervous. I've never had him do that. I've, he usually walks back. So I'm just, I'm just, I just really wanted to play something so that I'd be playing games again. I was worried I was getting kind of far away from games, and that I might literally get to that point where it's like, yeah, I don't play games anymore. I, I don't want to get to that. I really don't, and I don't think I will. I was just getting mildly concerned that it's like, I'm not playing games anymore. I really want to play some games. It's, it's almost gotten to the point where it kind of is where I've got to like make time. It's like, you know, what? I'm, I'm playing a game today, even though like today I'm, I'm pretty caught up. I've done a lot this year. I really feel like I've done a lot, and. Uh, that includes not just working, but like planning for my future, laying out the the brick path, quote unquote, to speak for my future and future things I plan on doing and other things that I just needed to get done and do. There's always a never-ending list of stuff I've I've got to do, need to do, should do before stuff I want to do. But uh, it's like you know I just gotta I gotta sometimes make some time, like even if it's just an hour to play some games. And that was the problem I had when I sat down to play games. I used to want to play them for hours at a time. And now all I can really spare is about maybe an hour at best, maybe an hour and a half, two, two in a really good scenario. Um, but uh, like today, just for example, it's uh, I've got a lot of stuff done. I did a lot of stuff the other day. I managed to get a lot of sleep. I'm actually relatively awake, which is good because I, if I was doing this tired, I'd be in a lot of trouble right now. Ah, oh, you bastard! I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. But, uh, like, it's, it is snowing outside right now. The other day, it was, uh, let's see, negative 15 Celsius, and it, which, and it was, um, which I don't go on Celsius, but it was negative for some, for many people who are on Celsius, negative 15 Celsius, and it was, oh god, it was like, uh, 9 degrees, 8 degrees, uh, Fahrenheit, and it was just frigid, cold, horrible. I hated it. I really, really hated it. I, I, I hate the cold. I'm not a fan of the cold at all. I, I'm really not a fan of winter, but I, I can get by with some winter. It just tends to drag on here. I live in New England, the northeast of the United States of America. And winters can be kind of rough. Oh, where did he go? Why is he doing this? He's never... I've never had this Black Knight do this, just for the record. I, I'm not I'm not dying here. I'm just not. I don't know what he's doing. I've never had him go down to that corner and just stand there menacingly. He's never done that for me before. Um, and... Oh my god. My god! God damn it! Die, you piece of shit! Just die. Just die. Just die. Oh. Uh, nice, I got a Titanite chunk. Woo! And a Black Knight Sword, which I can't use, but Titanite chunk, I will gladly take it. I'm gonna need that. I did get Titanite Shard earlier, too, so. Okay, let's go collect the ring. Now, the main one of the main reasons I came in here was for the shield. I'm gonna die, right? Oh my god. Okay. Okay, now that I'm down in New Inner Londo, I looted a few of the things that were in Firelink Shrine and over in the uh, graveyard that I didn't pick up earlier. But uh, I'm going to make use of... Actually, I don't even know this guy's name. I know most of the NPCs in this game, but I don't know this guy's name. He probably just said it, but I'm sure it's not important guy. So, it's actually really useful, and I think a lot of people would forget that uh, there's a blacksmith down here that you can get to really early on. Um, and I can't... Isn't he good for, like, enchanted ascensions? I think so. I think that's what he's good for. It's been a little while since I've played. 
But we're going to... He does sell... Yeah, he sells good sorcery early on. That's really nice to grab if you're doing magic. You know, I haven't done a magic build since... I feel like since the first time I ever played this game, I did a magic build. Boy, that was fun. Here's something you'll never see anyone do in a normal playthrough. <laughs> Upgrading a broken straight sword. Let's do it. This is going to be... This right here is going to be my plus 15 broken straight sword. And as I get a, a few more as uh, the game progresses, because I'm sure I will... I will uh, probably upgrade them with uh, chaos or fire, lightning, etc., etc. I have four humanity and uh, quite a few souls. I should probably go get the do the suicide run. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it for the uh, for the what is it the soul firekeeper soul firekeeper soul. I remember. Yeah. Actually, it's it's great because I was really thinking about the, the first time I played this game. And that was forever ago. It was so, that was really fun. I wish I had recorded a full playthrough of that, but uh, I do have like a a mashup. Uh, I think I titled it Game Night before I really even got the Dark Souls of uh, a couple of nights with me and Dusty. I don't think there is a more enjoyable game to watch people play for the first time than Dark Souls. It's it's so enjoyable for a, a ton of reasons. One. It's, it's just fun to watch people play for the first time, encounter all the traps, and experience it. Get that experience. But two, you you all share the same thing. We all went through the tutorial area. We all went through the first boss. We all summoned our first guy to help us. We all beat our first boss. We all upgraded our first weapon, fell for our first trap. That, it's, uh, it's like a shared experience that I feel like you, you can have in other games, but it's like... It feels more, oh god, real in Dark Souls. Come on. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. No! Oh god. No! Oh man. As I'm sure many people have had that experience right there. Oh my god. Now I gotta run back and get that. Oh. 